Hello, my name is Nikola Yuspa. I'm a critical care paramedic at the Registered Nurse in New York City. And in this video, I'd like to talk to you about how to set high pressure limit, low pressure limit, and low minute ventilation uh, alarm. So if you take a look at this following sheet, uh, this is from uh, Fielding's uh, Mechanical Ventilation, uh, my reference point. And I see uh, a lot of medics having issues setting up these limits and sometimes they don't fully acknowledge what they really do. So I want to explain what they do and how to set them appropriately. And this is, will be for the adult patient. Uh, high pressure limit, what does that mean? High pressure limit uh, is set by the operator of the ventilator. Uh, usually you want to be 10 centimeters of water pressure above the peak inspiratory pressure. The peak inspiratory pressure you could get by looking on LTV 1200 uh, here, or you could just cycle through until you see peak inspiratory pressure. I just passed it by. Let me go back. So this number, right, you could either get it from this gauge or just looking at the ventilator readout. Uh, same thing if the patient was in the hospital ventilator. So in this case, it's 28. So you will set the peak inspiratory pressure 10 centimeters of water pressure above this number. Now, if you see, if you're doing transport and you're not, and your alarms look like this, right? Which most of the time, this is what I found in medics because it's beeping. They're tired of all the beeps. They just put it at hundred and they put a dashes problem solved, right? Wrong. So let me explain what this does. So high pressure limit, as soon as the uh, ventilator sense that, that this pressure is reached, it will tell the ventilator, the ventilator to stop uh, flow of gas and cycle into escalation. And if the patient is constantly triggering this alarm, he's not being ventilated appropriately. And what are some of the things that could cause a high pressure alarm? So high pressure alarm is kinks in the endotracheal tube, circuit tube. So for example, if I did this, but because I'm at 100, it's not going to sense it, right? But if you had a kink, it would alarm. Uh, if the patient coughs, if the patient makes more secretions, if his compliance of the lungs decreases, right? If it uh, be uh, becomes more atelectatic, becomes more edematous, right? Or the patients who have burns, uh, they become stiff on the, on the chest, compliance reducing. So all those things will increase, will cause high pressure to go up and this is why we set this alarm to let us know to troubleshoot. Low pressure limit tells us if there's a disconnect or there's a leak in the system. A disconnect can be, uh, I pulled out like from here as I'm loading the patient. So it's sensing it and you see this, right? So it's some sort of a disconnect. This can also happen if the patient who has endotracheal tube, if the endotracheal tube goes out uh, it will show that, but you should be looking at your entitled CO2 for that as well, right? So any disconnects, any leaks in the system is a low pressure limit. And we set this five to 10 centimeters of water pressure below the peak inspiratory pressure. In the case that we showed us you before, if it was 28, you will set it at uh, 18, if it was 10 below. Now, the next one is a little confusing if initially, but uh, when you understand how it works, uh, I'm sure you will set it appropriately. Low, low minute ventilation. So what is minute ventilation? Minute ventilation is a calculation that you get by uh, multiplying respiratory rate times the tidal volume. And the abbreviation for tidal volume is VT, abbreviation for minute ventilation is VE. I'll give you just a simple calculation uh, that we'll utilize. If respiratory rate was 12 and tidal volume was 500, multiplying them two together, give us 6,000 mLs and we convert it to liters, so six liters. We set the low minute volume 10 to 15% below average minute volume. And I'll show you both calculations, 10 and 15 below. So six liters, if we utilized 10%, you just multiply this by 0.1, which gave us 0.6 liters. We subtract six liters, which was our initial minute ventilation, minus 0.6 gives us 5.4 liters. This is for 10%. And 15% is, uh, we're going to multiply six liters times 0.15, which is gives 
6 liters minus 0.9 liters equals 5.1. So these are your numbers to set low minute volume. I want to talk to you about the low peep. Sometimes you may see it. We cannot really adjust it from these controls here. You have to go to extended uh, features. But I'll explain to you what that means. So low peep, you could set it in advanced features and uh, it's usually two to five centimeters of water pressure below the set peep level. And when you see low peep, the presence of the leak of the patient, uh, so there's a circuit leak. At times you will see this if the patient is intubated and their endotracheal tube does not have sufficient cough pressure, right? Uh, when they intubated him, they didn't inflate it fully. Uh, you'll see a little peep and that could be corrected. Just give him uh, a little more air in the cough to close that space. But honestly speaking, do not force uh, full 10 cc's uh, because that has to be set with a manometer. So you're not uh, really uh, occluding the vessels uh, where the endotracheal tube sits. But if you do see it, just give it a few mLs of air and see if it will uh, fix your problem. So just to review all of them, high pressure limit, 10 above peak inspiratory pressure, low pressure limit, five to 10 below uh, peak inspiratory pressure, low minute uh, volume, 10, 15% below your minute volume, right? And these are the limits that we're actually inputting. So. I'm going to put your attention on the LTV 1200. So let's see. So if, we, if this was our hypothetical patient and we cycling through his uh, settings. So in this, in this present time, my pick inspiratory pressure is 25. So 10 above means this has to be at 35, right? Now, low, low pressure is 10 below. So this has to be at 15. Right, five to ten. So I'm utilizing ten in this example. And low minute volume, right? We said twelve times five hundred is six liters, uh, because uh, it's six thousand mLs. Convert to liters, it's six liters. And uh, if we utilize the ten percent, it's going to be five point four liters. And this is what we're going to set. Here, high pressure. high pressure and disconnected it. This sense low pressure, right? Low minute ventilation uh, can't really test it because we don't have a patient connected here who is breathing with the ventilator. Uh, so you can't really see that numbers. But uh, just to keep in mind, uh, high pressure limit kink uh, in the tracheal tube or the circuit, uh, cough, secretions, and reduced compliance and low pressure is some type of a disconnect. Um, and this is how you set your limits on the L3200 ventilator.